Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the buttons. Um, as you see the image already um, we have here, and uh, it's similar to the moniker we already made. Um, so if you look, they've got three buttons on that side. We've got two to three um, um, buttons on the calf as well. And also they will have, if you look at that, they will have two buttons at the back. So um, around the waist, if I just come closer so you can see. Um, you see that it's around the waist. So exactly where the um, side panel um, matches with the back panel, that's that's where we put in the button there. So you do have some few few buttons. It's quite important the size of the buttons as well. Otherwise, um, you know, it would not look right to the period. So you've got smaller buttons uh, on the calf when there's actually the front and the back is slightly larger. Um, what I usually do is if um, you've got, I use two type of um, buttons. One is covered in wool, which is the same fabric as you made the wool, um, or sometimes it can be as a decorative, like velvet or satin, absolutely fine. Um, again, do your research. That's all about, the buttons are all about the research. So you can cover um, your buttons, which you can buy the um, buttons in field, so you can, then you can cover it. There's another part that goes with them. And they, you can buy them different um, sizes, right to the very small to much larger one. And um, they can be metal or it can be plastic. So I prefer metal because obviously you don't want to see the white plastic underneath. Um, so those ones are already been covered. So as you see at the back, and um, worked really well. And uh, you, know, you can get the special machine with that where you can, it helps you to to cover the button. The another way is um, you can um, you can cover your button with the threads, which is I find in extremely um, you know, um, beautiful and successful for the um, to do the period buttons. So this one I covered myself, um, where I can use a silk thread, and you can you can get you can see you can't see at the moment you can't see very well. But I will show you the actual image where I get them from. Uh, so yeah, I did it myself. I covered myself those um, buttons. And again, you can buy all different um, sizes. And those are particular good size uh, for the button. And um, that one, which is the big one, um, about two centimeters, two centimeters, which is the big one, will go at the front. Um, so three at the front and two at the back, so you will use the big one. And the small one, which is I have three, at the moment is one and a half centimeters, the small one. Um, and I've got three on each calf um, as well, so I will put the small one on the calf. To calculate your buttons, I always buy extra, so you have three buttons at the front uh, for like main. Um, and Plus um, the same exactly the same size at the back, which is five, and they usually buy one or two extra um, just in case they are lost or get damaged. And then you will have three on each calf, which means six, and they will buy another two just in case for each calf. Um, buy another two, so about eight buttons all together, small one. So it's quite important. I also um, try to attach those buttons to the coat inside. Somewhere I put them in the pocket so to, to keep them as a, as a spare one. But always buy a spare just in case. So um, those little buttons, you know, you can use any different type of thread so, and different thickness. And I made few uh, buttons with um, thin silk, this is very thin, and look really nice um, in, in that type of silk. And also I tried in a much thicker um, silk as well which is faster when you're using the thicker silk. And I tried in the cotton, this is a pure cotton, like a buttonhole or crochet cotton. Um, yeah, it looks very, very good as well. Um, very quick, uh, very textured, so quite nice to work with. And embroidery thread, 
So here's a embroidery thread. And again, just to separate because it's quite fit to use as one thread. So you separate in um, different um, threads, but two, three threads together and use it. And that looks really nice as well. Very nice and smooth. So the ideas and um, uh, the, the um, textiles and um, pattern I actually take from this book. So I, I had I had the um, originals uh, images and I always wanted to find some more something more authentic um, goes with the any of my coat I make or jacket or waistcoat and I really like um, I find something like you know you try to buy things like glass button, metal button, mother pearl buttons. And sometimes it's really nice when they have got like embroidered or covered buttons where you're actually thinking that's really effective, that's so period to, to, um, that, to that um, century we're using. So I came across to uh, this website, if I just pass it for you. So I came across to this website through research as well. And I was researching about buttons and I was thinking, well, surely somewhere I can find how to, you know, to um, uh, buy those type of buttons. I didn't even thought about making it uh, myself, but I was just looking for something. So I came across to um, this website and then from that, I, uh, you know, found actually she, she does lots of things. And this um, book has been absolutely amazing. And it comes with different, if I just go through, and it comes with different type of, um, you know, ideas and also different type of um, solutions, how can they look and also what type of things you can use for your buttons, which is was absolutely amazing. Um, I found that you can use even coins um, as well by covering them in thread or um, covering them in um, fabric. Uh, so yeah, as you see, so some of them, it's um, very, very beautiful, some are very modern and you may not use it, but this one is typical 18th century, so you look at that, a typical 18th um, century, where you actually can use and take ideas and uh, replicate exactly the same, which that's what I found is, um, was really, really good and useful. Um, I also, so all different type of things and the step-by-step -step instructions goes with that. Um, you just need to put your head, head around, of course, um, to find, and it's all, all different um, little ideas and um, samples, which has been very successful with my students recently. And um, what I really particularly like is that page where actually I found the original I found the original image and um, it was just the, um, uh, a design, just a drawing. And of course, you know, look at this. So she made it a full of samples of, of that and they are so superior as well. So very, yeah, very amazing, all different um, fabric, different threads, different thickness in there. So this one again, that says um, um, 18th century where they used all that stuff and, and look at how amazing the buttons look like. So, so period, so authentic. Um, and then you can go to even Dorset buttons, which is used a lot for the shirts as well. And, um, yeah, so, and then she explains how to, to do them, what type of things. And these buttons, which is a little round buttons, you will use uh, in, um, in the 16th century, like Shakespeare time. And again, that's absolutely, you know, amazing. And sometimes you just cannot buy things like that. When you recreate something, um, it's just impossible to buy, um, but you can make it yourself. You can recreate yourself. So, and um, so, yeah, really beautiful stuff here. And those little buttons here, which is embroidered very, very, yeah, especially a very uh, popular 18th and 19th century, especially in the waistcoats. So yeah, so um, absolutely um, amazing. So for me, was this this book was actually quite um, important in terms of uh, it opens the possibilities for me. And um, now, um, you know, make me so excited about what um, what can I do? And um, it also. You know, shows um, it also um, she sells a lot of uh, stuff 
um, live. Oh, she does sell um, a DVD as well. So she, um, so you can watch film. So she, I think she on the YouTube as well. And you can watch free films, how to make like simple um, bags, which is absolutely appropriate for 19th century. Um, but just research about the color um, of the button and the size. But yeah, so she got this little um, DVD, she made it, and that was helpful to me because I've got a visual. And that really uh, was interesting for me to follow as well, how, um, you know, what she does. And um, yeah, she, um, I bought, uh, in the end, I bought some of her kit, which has helped me, and you can get, which has helps with all the making um, stuff and special, a special needle which is not sharp but helps you to go through the um, all the frets and and of course I bought all different sizes to experiment um, a little um, like um, I don't know how you call them, little beads little um, you know circles which are different sizes where I can, can cover them um, in and make it a button like this um, so that was um, very good so yes, yeah, so a different, all different sizes, and I've got, you know, round one, which is, you know, can be used for different period, a tiny small one, so you can do. And I've done um, some experiments when I was learning, and I've done all these different little buttons I covered, um, as well. So that was quite exciting um, to do, and that she's explains so all in in um, her videos and the websites. And of course, the books gives them gives some more ideas. They actually it could um, help you. So yeah, so that's um, that's your buttons. And um, of course, I'm not asking you to to do them and make them. You know, you may find some originals. Um, you know, you can need to do research, but it's there something for you as a possibilities. As something is is for you to think about and um, experiment and um, enjoy as well because I really enjoyed uh, learning how to um, cover the buttons. I hope this um, session was very useful to you and um, you will use it all my advisors. I'll see you later. Bye.